So in MRD in acute leukemia, uh, that really was pioneered in the setting of ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And there it's uh, easier, if you will, to measure the cells, either by flow cytometry or with molecular mechanisms. And in AML, it's a bit more of a challenge. And so one uh, side of things that have been advances here presented at this meeting are advances in our understanding of how to detect MRD and measure it. So we're learning that by using more sophisticated flow cytometry, we can detect AML MRD, or by understanding better how to track DNA mutations that are in the AML blasts, we're um, learning more about how to measure MRD. And so now that we're understanding how to measure it, we can actually start to apply new therapies and understand whether or not they are changing that MRD burden. And so we've seen abstracts and talks presented at this meeting using a number of new agents, including our SL-401 trial, but also we've seen uh, studies with hypomethylating agents like azacitidine and decitabine being given to patients uh, in complete remission but with minimal residual disease. And, uh, I will be excited to see over the next year or so whether we can show that those are now actually changing the MRD.